There's a quiet takeover happening right now. It's not loud or viral, but it is spreading everywhere. Every week, there's another workflow that changes, another job description rewrites itself, another system starts running without waiting for somebody else's permission. And most people don't even realize it. They think that the game is still about learning the newest tool and the flashiest platform or the next big prompt or shortcut. But what's really happening, I believe it's a shift in power. Because for the first time in history, leverage isn't coming from capital or teams or code. It is coming from something invisible. It is coming from a force that can build, think, and execute faster than any human team ever could. And I believe that even as early as 2026, the force will divide the world in two. The ones who get replaced and the ones who design what replaces others. So in this video, we will talk about what is the new form of leverage, why are the smartest company in the world already racing to master it, and how can you make sure you're not left behind? Look, every industrial revolution began the same way. It started quietly, at first it felt like nothing's changed, nothing looked different, and then one day, the machines started running without their makers. In factories, it was steam. In business, it was electricity. In the digital age, it was code. And each wave replaced muscle with logic. And now, a new kind of logic is here. One that does not just execute instructions, but one that can decide what needs to happen next. This is the rise of the invisible workforce. Today, entire workflows are running on invisible engines. Email responses, scheduling, data entry, customer support, tasks that maybe once filled whole departments are now being handled silently, automatically, relentlessly. This is not science fiction. This is already here. McKinsey call it super agency in the workplace, a world where systems can plan, act, and make decisions on their own. And here's what this actually means. 92% of companies plan to increase their AI investment in the next three years, according to this research. In fact, employees are already three times more likely to be using AI for at least 30% of their work than their leaders realize, according to this study. And McKinsey compares this moment to the steam engine, the kind of leap that once transformed economies for centuries. Except, this time, the machines do not just lift weight. <laughs> they lift workload. But there is good news. You don't need to be a tech genius or an engineer to join this new wave. There are already boot camps that are designed to help people learn exactly these skills, even if you're starting from scratch. Programs like those offered by Triple Ten, for example, who I've partnered with on today's video and who are a part of uh, Nebius Group, the leader among AI infrastructure providers. And if you're new to Triple Ten, this is an online tech boot camp that helps people switch into IT and data careers. And they're now teaching professionals from all backgrounds how to design and implement automations that make real impact in marketing, in business operations, in customer experience, and lots of others. In fact, they have a course on AI automation that is suitable for complete beginners as well as for those who want to implement AI, whether in their current business or in their job, to level up and keep being relevant in the market. Because the truth is, you don't necessarily need to know how to code to understand automation. You just need the right framework, the right mentorship, and hands-on learning path. And that's because AI has moved beyond task automation. It is now cognitive automation. It writes code, it handles customer support, it manages entire business workflows from intake to delivery. We are actually watching the birth of a digital workforce that never forgets and never waits for somebody else's permission. And I think Gartner said that by 2026, four out of five companies will rely on AI-driven automation to run their operations. And there's something that I found really fascinating in this Stanford's Human-Centered AI Institute research, where they found that workers actually want this. They're not afraid of AI. They wanted to handle the repetitive stuff so that they can focus on creative and strategic work that they do best. The fear is not automation replacing us. The fear is not learning how to work with it. But <laughs> with programs like the Triple Ten AI Automation course that I mentioned earlier, which is a four-month part-time program, you're able to learn exactly what we've been talking about, how to automate routine tasks and how to make work fly using AI tools for business operations. And what I really liked about their approach is that this course, this program is built for real life. You can learn while you're still working and it is designed for complete beginners, even if you feel you have no coding experience. The program is consistently rated among the top boot camps in the world. I think on their website, I saw that it scores 4.8 out of 5 rating based on over 1,200 reviews from Course Report and SwitchUp and Career Karma and some others. 
And actually, if you're not sure where to begin, which I know is the case for a lot of people, Triple Ten offers a free career consultation to help you find your direction. So you can click the link in the description to book that free consultation right now. So with all of that in mind, what does this actually mean for you and for me and for regular people? It means that right now there is an invisible workforce that is forming underneath every business. And the people who understand how to design those processes, they're the ones running the world, in my opinion, because automation is not just about saving time. It's about creating that compound leverage that I've talked about. Because when a system runs without the business owner or the employee or without you once, it runs without you forever. So while most people are still thinking like users and learning prompts and how to use tools, I believe a new class of professionals is learning how to design automations. And that's why Triple Ten's AI automation course is, in my opinion, so well positioned. So as you come to your Triple Ten student platform, you'll be able to see your entire course overview at a glance. And I'll come back and walk you through all the modules and all the content step by step. But first, I really want to show you some very valuable features here in the left hand corner. So obviously here on the main page, you're going to see the course that you've signed up for, your progress and your structure. But then here on the left hand side, you have all the events. So you'll be able to see all the upcoming important milestones. And you're also able to add that to your schedule or your calendar. And you also have all the upcoming group office hours that you're able to join. And as you can see, no matter where you're from, they are held at different hours. So you should be able to find one that suits your schedule. Now, coming back to the course overview, the course is split into seven sprints and a sprint takes two weeks, just like in real life. And the first sprint talks about AI tools and prompt engineering. The second one covers large language models. Sprint number three is about AI and automation. And then sprint four goes a bit deeper into advanced applications of AI. And sprint number seven is about your final project and your mock interview in a one-to-one -one session. And let me be very clear, automation isn't an app <laughs> that you download. It's the architecture behind everything that's about to scale. It's the new literacy. In case you haven't realized this by now, I think it will get even wilder. You know, if you think about it, 100 years ago, literacy divided opportunity. Those who could read, built businesses, led teams and navigated the world. Those who couldn't, well, they were left behind. And then came the typewriter and a new kind of literacy was born. If you could type, you could communicate faster than anyone else. Entire jobs were created just for people who mastered that one single skill. And in the 1980s, another revolution started. Computer literacy. Back then, knowing how to use a computer was optional, you know. But today, it's unthinkable to build a career without it, right? And now I believe we are standing at the edge of the next divide, which is automation literacy. Not knowing how to use AI tool, but knowing how to make them work together to get real results, real outcomes. And according to the World Economic Forum's Future of Jobs report, over 60% of workers will need some level of automation literacy by 2027, and nearly half of all tasks could be automated or augmented by AI. Here's what I believe. Automation is not there to replace people. It's about reorganizing how we work. Um, and I think Harvard Business Review said that we've reached the age of collaborative intelligence, where human decision making is amplified by AI that handles the repetitive and the reactive, which means that it's no longer about learning tools. It is about learning systems thinking, how to orchestrate the flow of information, actions, as well as outcomes. Because in my opinion, this is what's really happening. AI is becoming a coworker, an invisible partner that runs in the background, handling the tedious stuff while we focus on what moves business forward. The people who learn how to design and direct these systems to make AI do meaningful work and reach the outcomes we are looking for won't just stay relevant. They will define what relevance means in this new era. Because every industry from marketing to finance to healthcare is quietly hiring for one thing. People know how to connect the dots. They don't need more tool collectors. They need automation thinkers because while everyone else is still trying to use AI, the real opportunity is to build workflows that use AI for you. And a lot of people get stuck here because they think automation is technical, that it's for coders, but I believe it's not. In fact, McKinsey's new super agency in the workplace report showed that the highest performing employees are not the ones writing code. They're the ones designing workflows that combine tools, data, and logic to solve problems end to end. I've said it before. I believe automation is now a thinking skill, a creative skill, and soon a survival skill maybe. So the question is not whether automation will define the next decade, because I think we are all seeing that it will. 
I believe the question is whether you will be fluent in it or still waiting for someone else to translate it for you. Because sure, we used to measure success by experience, by credentials, by network, but I think that's over. The new divide isn't about who you know, it's about what you can build that runs without you. So here's the truth that most people don't want to admit. Learning AI is not the problem. Learning it right is. Everyone's watching tutorials, downloading tools, saving prompt lists, but almost no one is learning how to connect those tools into actual systems that do work for them. And honestly, that's what separates the experimenters from the people who actually move forward. That's why I think of AI automation as the real career edge for 2026 and beyond, because it's not about being a tech person. It's about becoming fluent in how things work together. Data, logic, tools, APIs, human inputs, all are orchestrated by AI. And it's what the next generation of leaders and consultants and creators will probably have in common. They will not be defined by what they can do with AI, but what they can make AI do for them. And if you're serious about learning that skill properly, not just chasing trends, you clearly need structured guidance. And of course, there are many options out there and it's a free world. You can choose whichever fits you best. But if you're still exploring those options, I believe Triple Ten is a great place to start because they've created something that I haven't seen anywhere else. They have a program that is specifically designed to teach AI automation skills to help people get into the technology field. And if you look on their website, you will see that the results speak for themselves. According to Triple Ten's published outcomes, 82% of graduates secure tech positions. And I believe that's exceptional in the bootcamp industry. And what's even more impressive is that Triple Ten reports that around 38% of those roles are remote, meaning you're not limited by geography and you can build your career from anywhere. Not only that, but Triple Ten also offers a money-back guarantee to students who don't secure a job within 10 months according to their terms and conditions on their website. They also offer unlimited externships after graduation, which means that you get to work on real projects for actual companies, building your portfolio and gaining the experience that employers are actually looking for. As I said, each student gets one-to-one -one tutoring, a personal success manager, and a career coach guiding them every step of the way. And that support does not end on graduation. Triple Ten offers lifelong career assistance, meaning that you'll always have someone in your corner helping you level up. It's like having an entire team dedicated to your success. But I believe what actually stands out is how practical and personal the learning experience is. Because you're not just watching lessons, you're working on actual real projects with you as companies building a portfolio that proves you can solve problems with AI automation. And with over 1,100 successful alumni, the results are pretty clear. It has become a launchpad for many people who are serious about building their next chapter in the AI economy. Triple Ten admits people from all walks of life. Look, in 2026, automation is not optional, it's literacy. And Triple Ten is how you learn to read and write in this new language. And by the way, thank you so much, Triple Ten, for partnering with us on today's video. So let me leave you with this thought. We are living through a moment that I believe will define the next 50 years of work. The invisible workforce is already here. The question isn't whether it's coming, it's whether you're going to lead it or be led by it. And the evidence is here. You know, McKinsey shows us that technological skills will grow by 55% by 2030, which is basically faster than any other skill category. IBM is investing in training 2 million people in AI by 2026, and the World Economic Forum ranks AI and big data as the number one technological skill. This is not a prediction about the distant future. This is the reality of today. Companies are already struggling to find people with these skills. The invisible workforce isn't just changing how we work. It is creating entirely new categories of jobs, new industries, and new opportunities for those who are prepared. So what's it going to be? Are you going to be someone who understands and directs these invisible workers? Someone who can identify automation opportunities and implement AI solutions and lead teams in the new world? Or are you going to hope that somehow this transformation passes you by? I mean, the choice is yours as always, but choose quickly because while you're deciding, the invisible workforce is already getting to work. All right, you guys, that was it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Like this video if you did. If it opened your eyes to what's really happening in the world of work, make sure to subscribe um, and share this with anyone in your circle of friends or family who needs to learn more about the future of work and AI and how to stay ahead of these massive changes. And because you're part of my community, Triple Ten is offering a discount on their AI automation program so you can improve your career using my code SUPERHUMAN 
and get a 30% off discount on all of their programs. Plus, you can start with the free career consultation with one of their advisors. It is just a chance to get expert advice on your career path and see if this is right for you. So scan the QR code on your screen or click the link in the description to book your free consultation. You don't need to wait for the future to happen to you. Take control and build the skills that will put you in the driver's seat of the invisible workforce. And remember, that free career consultation with Triple Ten is just a click away. So take advantage of it. Your future self will thank you. All right, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you join our free community if you want to apply more about this and watch this video next. See you soon. Bye.